All right, Shalom. First, I want to start by giving all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kakwadash, Rakate Yahweh, Rakate Yahweh Shai. Yahweh be the name of the Heavenly Father who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai be the name of his beloved Son who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. That's the true names in the last one, Kodash, the ancient Hebrew. Double honors to the apostles and elders, great Muslim, and blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. I'm back with a lesson to the Spirit and probably how about Shemal Shai. And the title of this lesson will be Then Shall the End Come. <clears throat> All right. Then Shall the End Come. Okay. Referring to the words of our Lord, you know, concerning this gospel uh, going out throughout the four corners. Okay. Because you could just feel. You know, when we're out there teaching, you can just feel that, you know, we're uh, coming into the end of, uh, you know, this phase of uh, teaching the word, man. Okay, what more needs to be said, you know, in these last days, you know, because we've been uh, diligently, you know, starting with our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Okay, we've been diligently giving that warning. Okay, sounding the alarm. Okay, in the Lord's holy mountain. You know, letting it be known uh, 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 The prophecies, man Okay, concerning the The karagma Okay uh, Giving warning concerning this That thing Okay You know, letting our people know who they are Letting them know who Esau Edom is You know, and what's to come Okay, this, this message has been going out You know, for over 50 years, man Okay, and you can just feel that the Lord is drawing this thing to an end, man Okay so I want to start here at uh, Matthew 24, okay, and uh, 14. And this gospel of the kingdom, okay, the gospel that we teach, okay, starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, all right, it's referring to this gospel, man. All right, it's not talking about Christianity and all that other madness out there, all right, because that, that's been around the earth, okay? That doctrine that you hear in the churches, that's that's... That's been around the earth, man. Esau came with that when he came over here in 1492. So it's not talking about that. It's talking about the pure truth, man, of the scriptures, man. All right. It says, in this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Okay. And you have great millstone camps all throughout the globe, man. You know, teaching this word, man. You know. Exalting the names of Yahweh by Shemal Shai, you know, calling unto our people to repent. <clears throat> okay, this is happening all throughout the globe, man. Like you have that song, you know, all around the world, same song. Okay, this this same song is being um preached throughout the whole globe, man. Okay. And and Yahweh Shai said, then shall the end come. So we're right here, man. Okay, Esau is already attacking our channels. You know, you can't really go in detail on certain certain topics. Esau will strike your channel, uh, 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 delete your channel, delete your videos, all of that, man. Okay, so the time is going to come where the Lord is going to um, withdraw his prophets. <clears throat> okay, and have us stop uh, uh, teaching the word, man. All right, this is Ezekiel 3 and 26. It says, And I will make thy tongue to cleave to thy mouth, I mean the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb and shalt not be to them a reprover. You see? All right, because the scriptures say, They hate them that are, that are, um, that reprove at the gates. You know, I'm paraphrasing. You know, we're out there to reprove our people, to correct them and show them the right way. Okay, it says, and shall not be to them that are uh, salat. And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb, and shall not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house. Okay? And, that, and that's going to be the end of that grace period, man. You know? And it's going to be, it's gonna be a, a time for judgment. Okay? Why? Because they are a rebellious house. All right, it's not the scripture say I have uh, 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 my hand out all, all the day long to a rebellious people, man. You know, who hasn't heard this word, man? You know, who hasn't heard this word? Everyone is familiar with the Israelites. 
everyone's familiar with, um, you know, uh, uh, the things we speak of, man. The end. There's a sense of, there's a feel, there's a certain feeling in the air, man, in these last days, man. You know, and these people out here in this world, they're trying to ignore that feeling. You know, some people are trying to put their finger on the feeling. You know, and we, we, us in the spirit, we know exactly what it is, man. All right, we're in the time of our Lord Yahweh Shai returning. Okay, and we know that um, it's going to get extremely bad out here before the Lord returns, man. The scripture says it's going to be like a day that has never been before. Okay, so it's time to seek the Lord before, uh, 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 while He may be found, man. Okay. So it says, and I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb, and shall not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house, right? The Lord's going to have us stop speaking, man. You know? Now let's go to Romans 10 and 13. It says, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Right? These names are the most important, uh, 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 and most important uh, to have The most essential in these times, man Okay, and it takes faith to, to, to call upon those names the Scriptures say, without faith it is impossible to please him Okay So it's through the names of Yahweh by Shem Man We're going to make it out of here, man Our faith in the Lord, man It says, how then shall they call on him In whom they have not believed Right, it takes faith to to, to to call upon Yahweh by Shemal Shai, man. Okay? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? So the Lord is having it be known. Okay? The Lord is having it be known who he is, you know, uh, what's to come, you know, why we're in this predicament as a people. So there'll be no confusion. The scripture said the Lord is not the author of confusion. All right? So ain't going to be no confusion. On who's bringing the terror upon this world, man? Okay, the, the Lord is making it be known, man, all throughout the globe. It says, "How then shall they call call on Him, in whom they have not believed? And how shall they be believe in Him, of whom they have not heard?" Okay. And and you go to Proverbs, the first chapter. It tells you, "I will I will uh, make known my words unto you." Okay It says And how, how shall they believe In him of whom they have not heard And how shall they hear Without a preacher Okay let's look up this word Okay and we know that that word Preacher goes back to A, 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 a prophet You know it's one that prophesies Um Strong's G, 2784, Keruso, Keruso. Right? It says, to be a herald, to officiate as a herald, to proclaim after the manner of a herald, uh, always with the suggestion of formality, gravity, and authority, which must be listened to and obeyed, to publish, proclaim, proclaim openly. And are we not proclaiming? This truth openly Okay Does not the scripture say um, uh, uh, Thine eyes shall see thy teachers Yep this is Isaiah 30 and 20 And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity And the water of affliction Yet shall not thy teachers be Removed into a corner anymore but thine eyes shall see thy teachers Okay, and that's, this is why it's important You know, for us to hit the highways and byways, man Okay, the scriptures say um, Wisdom Okay um, um, Crieth in the streets In the, in, in, in the uh, chief place of concourse Or right, the chief place of business Okay So it says Yes shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore but then I shall see thy teachers, you see? So, the Lord is having it to where no one has an excuse. You know, that our people are being told, 
you know what they need to do in these last days and the heathen are being uh uh you know told uh told what's about to happen to them you know it says in thine ears shall hear a word behind thee saying this is the way walk ye in it then uh when you turn to it to the right hand and when you turn to the left okay so we're declaring we're proclaiming this gospel openly man okay scripture say we should be a spectacle and we're fools for your howard shot sick okay which, which which truly man this is a blessing man to be teaching the word man all right we're blessed man because this word is within us okay so going back to it where's that at yeah so it says let me go back to the definition So it says to, to publish, proclaim openly something which has been done. Okay. And we're also prophesying, you know, what's to come. It says use of the pro public proclamation of the gospel and matters pertaining to it. Made by John the Baptist, by Shai, by the apostles and other uh, elect teachers, man. Okay. So it says, and how shall they preach except they've been sent? Right, and we've been sent uh, 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 by Yahweh, by Shai, man. Like you know, like I said, starting with our apostles and elders, man. You know, the word apostle, you know, may, means to be sent away. Okay, and we've been we've been sent. You know, the Lord placed His Spirit upon us. You know, and and and, and, and uh, enlightened us. Okay, and we gained the foundation, and we, and we went out and uh, entered other men's labors, man. You know, it says, and how shall they preach except they've been sent? And so the Lord got to be with you. Okay. The Lord has to be with you, man. Okay. And it's, it's evident in these last days, you know, who the Lord is with and who the Lord is not with, man. You know, you see the ones that are about the scriptures and then you see the other guys that are, you know, about this world. Okay. As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things, right? Because we're prophesying of, uh, of uh, you know, the goodness that the Lord is going to bring to our nation, man. You know? But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah saith, Lord, who have believed our report? Okay, and this is um, uh, uh, from Isaiah 53 and 1. Okay? Lord, who have believed our report? And we know that only the elect is going to hear this word and be activated, man. Okay? Hebrews 4 and 2. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. Right. Everyone is hearing this word, man. Everyone is hearing this word. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Okay? So since they didn't, um, they don't have the faith. Let me read it again. So like, it says, for unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them. Not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Right. They don't have no faith. Okay. The scriptures say um, our, our, our people, our children wherein is no faith, man. You know, and that's that's the main offense. That's the main offense. You don't believe in the Lord. You don't believe in, in, in the Lord's word. You know, we just had a woman come up uh, uh, to camp the other day. And she was saying, how long are we going to wait on this God, you know, basically to come and rescue us? However long the Lord want us to, man. You know, but that, that goes right in the prophecy with Ezekiel 12. Our people don't, don't think that uh, the end is going to come. Uh, uh, Matthew, I mean, Micah 7 to 10. Uh, uh, she that is my enemy shall see it You know the one that says uh, You know where is thy God You know paraphrasing You know Our people don't believe in the Lord man They don't believe that uh, That he's going to return man You know Now, that, now, they're, now they're, they're talking about the universe and, and all of this madness man That's that new shit that's out here man The universe and all this bullshit our people, man. Something else, man. 
But uh, going back to the scripture, it's uh, Romans 10. And um, uh, what was that? Uh, yeah, 16. All right. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah said, Lord, who have believed our report? Right. So this word is only for an election, man. Okay. The scripture said uh, the elect have obtained it, but the rest were blinded. Okay. The Lord's going to keep them blinded, you know, all the way up until that judgment hit their ass, man. You know, it says, so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of the Most High. So, hey, the, the prophets play a big role in the Lord's movie, man. All right, because that's how you're going to hear the word of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, man. Okay, so the prophets play a big role, man. If the apostles and elders wasn't out there, man, how, you know, how will we, you know, be return back to our power, man? And if the great men before them wasn't out there, you know, how would they, how, how would uh, they have heard it, you know? So, hey, man, Yahweh Bashim al Shai has this thing, um, you know, all, all already planned out, man. Okay? It says, So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of the Mosai. Here's the point. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth. Okay? And this is uh, from uh, Psalms, the 19th chapter. So, have they not heard? Right. Everyone has heard this word, man. Everyone has heard this word, man. All right? Mainly our people, man. All right, because the word was being heard in the time of our Lord, okay, as the as as the Lord was speaking, as the as the disciples were speaking, but it was it was being um it was uh being spread abroad by the word of mouth. So not only is the word being spread abroad now by the word of mouth, now this now you got YouTube, you got other these other social media platforms where people see us, you know. So everyone has heard this word, man. It has been in hyperdrive since 07. Okay? It says, Yes, verily, their sound went to all the earth and their words unto the end of the world. Okay? So you got brothers, camps throughout the whole globe, man. All throughout America. Okay? Uh, uh, Hawaii, Canada, uh, 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 Central and South America. Okay, Jamaica, okay, uh, uh, Italy, all right, uh, Holland, okay, uh, 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 in Africa, man, all right, Saudi Arabia, man, all right, uh, uh, the list goes on and on, man, okay, the word is out, okay, the word is out, man, now you Jakes have no cloak for your sins, man, okay, This is uh, Habakkuk 2 and 14. It says, For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord, as the waters cover the sea. Right? The earth is filled with the knowledge of Yahweh by Shemal Shai. You know, I remember one time, if you type in um, uh, Yahweh Shai on Google, or Yahweh by Yahweh Shai on Google, you want to get the, uh, the, image, the images you get now, man. Okay? But now when you type in Yahweh by Shemal Shai, or you type in Yahweh Shai, it's going to bring you right to the truth, man. You're going to see the images. You're going to see brothers. You know? So, hey, the, 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 earth, is, the earth is full of the uh, knowledge of, of Yahweh by Shemal Shai, man. Everyone has heard this word, man. Okay? It's not, a, it's not a, something that is uh, strange anymore, you know, to these, to these peons out here, man. You know, hey, a lot, a lot of, a lot of you, Jakes, man, you, you, you know the men of the Lord personally, man. You know, you, you, you heard the word of the Lord straight from the prophets, man. You know, so hey, you know, you Jakes really uh, don't believe, man. But it all comes down to faith. But the time is coming, man. The time is coming where the Lord's gonna. Hey, he's gonna cut the YouTube. You know, he's gonna withdraw his profits, man. If they do another shutdown, hey, the the Lord might have it to where we don't be on the highways no more. You know, this is Amos uh, eight and eleven. It says, "Behold, the days come," said the Lord, "Power that I will send a famine in the land, 
not a famine of bread nor of thirst for water okay and these this is coming as well all right the scriptures speak of scarcity of food the scriptures speak of cannibalism okay it says nor of thirst for water but of hearing the words of the lord and how do you hear the words of the lord man by the through the mouths of the of, of the prophets man because that's how the lord speaks okay that's how yahweh speaks and has always spoken through the through the ministry of the prophets all right let's get that scripture man uh what is that hosea uh i think it's 10 and 12 or 12 and 10 i think it's 12 and 10 Yep, Hosea 12 and 10 I have also spoken by the prophets You see And I have multiplied visions and used similitudes By the ministry of the prophets Okay So the Lord's gonna He's gonna take away the prophets uh, 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 From teaching his word man To where you're not gonna be able to hear it no more man The Lord's not gonna be able to be found no more Amos 8 and 11 Behold the days come saith the Lord power that I will send a famine in the land Not a famine of bread nor of thirst For water But from but of hearing the words of the Lord And they shall wander from sea to sea And from the north Even to the east They shall run to and fro to seek the word Of Yahweh And shall not find it man Okay and that's worse Than an actual Famine And, 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 and a thirst of water man because the word of the Lord provides hope It provides comfort The scriptures say Knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times Okay so having the word within you Is very very imperative man Like they show you in the book of Eli He had the word within him Okay so the Lord's gonna He's gonna um, not, He's not, he's not gonna be found At a certain point in time Okay So it says Uh Oh yeah, we read that. All right. Yeah. So hey, it's only a matter of time before the Lord, you know, um, brings this thing, man. You know. So you Jakes that are out there listening and learning, hey man, you know, uh, 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 continue, man. Get it, get it. You know, get all that you can. Why, you know, while you can, you know. And to you Jakes that actually hear it. And, and, and not taking it serious, hey man, that's to your that's to your own destruction, okay? Because you've been warned. You can't say you ain't been warned, and you can't say the Lord ain't merciful, okay? The Lord has been going having the word go out for decades, man. Especially the, especially these last fourteen years, okay? Especially, man. You can even bring it to the last seven, the last five. All right, because the prophets is doing more and more. All right. So let's end it off right here at uh, Amos 5 and 13. Therefore, the prudent shall keep silence in that time. All right. We're going to keep silence in that time. For it, for it is an evil time. All right. So the Lord is going to have the prudent uh, 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 keep silence, man. Okay. And the scripture said with... Uh, uh, where there is no vision, hey, the people perish, man. You know? Seek good and not evil that ye may live. And so the Lord, the power of hosts, shall be with you as ye have spoken. All right? So it's time to seek good and not evil, man. Get this word while you can, man. All right? Because the word is, it, it already went throughout the four corners. And then shall the end come. All right? So, brothers, we right here, man. We right here. You know, let's hold fast to what we, uh, uh, Hold fast to what we've been given, man. You know, continue to, uh, you know, do our part, man, as the Lord does his thing, man. So, Lord's will is edifying. Then shall the end come. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh, by Hashem, Kaipodash. Till next time, Shalom.